My name is uh, Gregory Omondi and uh, I am currently based at Kimberley Wellcome Trust in the Nairobi office. How I got involved in research was during my undergraduate training, uh, undertaking the Bachelor of Science in Nursing Studies at the University of Nairobi. And in my second year, one of my professors introduced me to some of the research activities that were taking place in the university, specifically uh, research that was around conducting, um, trying to find out um, how we can find um, vaccine for HIV AIDS. And I thought that was very interesting. So I got involved in that and I became a peer leader at Kenya AIDS Vaccine Initiative. And I started talking to my colleagues and trying to encourage them to get involved more in research and went on to uh, take on responsibilities in community engagement programs and trying to recruit uh, people from the community to take part in the various studies in the program as well. So that sort of formed the basis, uh, a strong basis for me to take on research activity uh, going forward. So I took on other responsibilities, mainly in research as well, cutting across from non-communicable to communicable diseases as well, and recently in health systems research, where I am currently uh, working um, on health systems and trying to look at improving services uh, and quality of services that newborns get in Kenyan health facilities. Uh, this work involves mainly um, talking to the nurses and trying to find out the work that they do while caring for sick newborns, how much time they spend while doing uh, that work, and the opinions on the criticality and difficulty levels of the work that they do, and also how often they get to do or not get to do some activities given the nature of those settings. And understanding this information in context helps to try and come up with ways to improve uh, uh, care delivery to sick newborns so that they get quality care even given the limited uh, nature, limited resource nature of those settings. And the work that I'm currently involved in specifically and some of the findings uh, that we have come up with have been very helpful. Uh, is trying to look at how nurses uh, do certain specific ta tasks in the neonatal setting. And uh, the methods that we are using are predominantly used in nuclear power generation and oil and gas. And it's very interesting to employ those methods in neonatal research and find out more um, more details or insights into how tasks are done. So these are called human factors, ergonomics or simply ergonomics methods. And they really help to unpack the complex nature of tasks that nurses do while caring for sick newborns. And if you delve deeper into these tasks, then you are able to redesign the way nurses do their work or even shift or share some tasks so uh, so that to so as to you know find ways to make this nurses provide quality care to to the newborns. So we are trying to look at aspects of task shifting and task sharing. And ergonomics methods are very helpful in trying to understand this task specifically and try to highlight issues of safety and quality while sharing or shifting tasks. And uh, this research is important because if you are able to share or shift tasks, then the few nurses that are available are able to concentrate on um, more skilled work or work or uh, tasks that require higher skill levels that are also closely linked to better patient outcomes. So that will eventually reduce the neonatal mortality levels. Um, <clears throat> and I think for those who are looking to get into research, I mean, research is a very interesting area. Ever since I was introduced to it, I've been, I've been doing it. And you get to see your work and how it impacts the world, even in a very small context. 
that is really fulfilling. 